Hello, Gemini. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's reading. For the main part of the reading, I'm using the Light Sears Tarot by Chris Ann. It is a Hay House product. Supportive Oracle Cards, uh, Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. I believe this is also a Hay House product with that H there, but it says Lifestyles. Uh, if you look up the creators and their decks, you should easily find them. You might even have some fun finding extra stuff that you weren't expecting. Who knows what you'll find. But I'm sure you'll find something good. Especially if you go on, like, on Amazon or something. You'll probably find a bunch of different decks. Um, what do we have for Gemini? I'm already like wanting to get into this. I'm like kind of excited about what's going on here. Even though I don't know why. <laughs> Alright, this... I'm excited. I am still excited, but why are we excited? You have success out there. How do you get it? I am feeling like... A, this is reminding me of the Virgo reading for some reason, which you're very different from them, so I don't know why, other than... I feel like what they're saying is you've got to engage the success. How do you... What do you mean? Engage it or just, like... You have to choose it? I think something's ending. I feel like there's an ending that's going to happen sooner or later, and it's on your terms. I feel like it's on your terms. I think that's the thing. And they're like, hey, there's better out there for you, Gemini, but not until you claim it. The sun card is waiting. The empress is here as well. The empress makes choices for them. The empress is in control. The empress tends to take care of others, but has to take care of themselves as well. Whatever you're doing, it whether you're trying to or not, you are taking care of others is what I'm doing. Your input, your energy is either put, giving somebody, at least at the very least, giving somebody a heads up about what's out there and you're helping other people, but it's kind of like, it's time to help yourself. It's time for you to claim your sun card. It's time for you to claim your success. And it is out there. And it's not that you don't think about it. All right, it's the fifth chakra, which is, the blue chakra, the throat chakra, but it's not just talking. It's also kind of like, you know, internal dialogue. So I don't always feel it just as like speaking to others, but it's sometimes just kind of like mulling something over with yourself. It could be literally talking to yourself and kind of like working something out, deciding what you need, deciding what you want. Because I'm getting this chariot card with the fifth chakra kind of like what you want is out there. You just got to put in the legwork to make it happen. It's time for you to get something. It's time for you to have your moment, your success. It's time. It's out there. It's waiting for you. This is the success card. Six of Wands. Success. Like, look at the the joy that person has. Like, they're it's out there waiting for you. But they're like, but for you, not until not until you claim it. And it is going to take some legwork. Now, I don't think that's going to be the worst thing in the world. I don't think this is going to be something where you have to trudge through the swamp for three days. You know what I mean? It's not like that. I feel like it's kind of like you know. You have to take one step at a time, and it's kind of like walking into like a haunted house, but like a fun house. A fun house would probably be a better way to put it. You take one step at a time. You evaluate what you're going towards. You just gotta keep going. It's kind of like the fun house mentality. Like you'll get to the other end. It's for fun. It's 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 intimidating, but it's not gonna hurt you. But you have to make that choice to move forward, go forward, and do it. Um, Until it goes forward, though, I feel like they're saying you got to choose it. You got to choose it. Once you start, I am noticing this too, though. This is very interesting. It's kind of like, it's kind of like having roller skates on and going downhill. Once you start going down, you're like, all right, here I go, and I'm gonna do it. And the farther you go, you're like, well, I've already gone a mile. It's ten miles down this hill. I've already gone a mile, and I don't really want to skate back up a mile. The momentum will take me down naturally. I just got to keep myself together and keep myself focused where I'm going to go, how I'm going to do it. So the energy, once you start going, it seems like it'll sustain you. The The information will come in. It'll keep you entertained as well as excited, if you know what I mean. Um, so it'll come forward. That It will come forward and start showing you what's available. Not everything's going to be fun. The Four of Cups is here with the strategy. You're going to have to think some things out. You're going to have to make some decisions. You're like, well, I don't like that decision, but that's the better decision, so I'll do it. But it's also like I feel like I'm going downhill on roller skates again. It's kind of like I have to keep making decisions. I can't just sit here and just be like, oh, well, 
I got to keep making decisions. Keep actively moving forward. Don't sit too long. See your possibility, make your decision, keep going. See your possibility, make your decision, keep going. I feel like this is one of your strong suits, though. You can do that. Most Geminis can do that. Even if you have an Earth coming in with it, like if you have an Earth energy that comes in with your Gemini, you may, well, even probably especially, you'll, you'll just make more solid decisions going forward. I wouldn't worry about it. Just keep rolling with it. Keep moving. Keep going. Um, and I feel like once you get to the bottom of the hill, that's like just the beginning of your journey. Once you've gotten to the bottom of the hill, you will have learned a lot and you're like, well, I've gotten all the way to the bottom and that was my goal, but now I don't want to stop. Now I want to go on to another hill. I want to make another, I, I can do better with this. I know I can handle more. I went down this 10 mile hill, really wasn't that bad. After the first couple minutes, I really got used to it and I found out I'm actually pretty good at this. I want to do it again. I want to have a more challenging hill. I want to have more fun with this. I want to get more success out of this. This is going to be like the start of something. I just feel like it's making you nervous. What's holding you back is it's just, it's making you nervous. Kind of like once I start it, I feel like I can't turn back, which is probably true. Um, and that's what's making you nervous because I think you're, I think you're probably right on with that. Once I start doing this, I can't really stop unless I want to just flat out fail. And if I'm just going to flat out fail anyway, why even bother? When I take my, it's almost like when I start down the hill, this is my moment. I either claim it or I let it go. I can't get halfway down or a couple miles down and go, eh, maybe not now. Because if I do that, it's going to move on. It's like the seasonal change. Somebody, something else will come along here. The pops, possibilities will go away. I just can't do it anymore. And I know it's like this is my time to move forward. I need to do it now or not do it at all. Um, this is going to your benefit. There's pressure. Because I feel like when the moment comes forward, you, I think you're going to see that very easily, very quickly. It's kind of like, whatever it is, it's kind of like it's the mid of summer, the weather's perfect, today the, today the weather's perfect. It's the middle of summer, it's clear, it's nice, it's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's not too windy, it's perfect. Today is the day. And the stress is there. When it comes forward, you want to be ready. Because I feel like the stress is here, like, my, your moment's going to show up and you're going to know it's either do it or don't. And you want to be ready to do it. Because success is here for you. Um, and you're great at finding possibilities. And once you do, you'll move on from whatever else. Whatever you were holding on to, whatever you've been let hold you back, because I feel like you've been caring for other people, I feel like once you let go of it, you're going to work more towards what you want, more towards your happiness. And I'm getting like, it's one of those things where i got to keep my feet on the ground about it. It's not always going to be the most enjoyable, but it's going to be good. It's kind of like on the scale of 1 to 10, if 10 was, you know, ridiculous euphoria and 1 was I hate this, you're going to bounce between a 7 to 8, 6 to 7 to 8. It's just going to keep bouncing back and forth, but it'll always be on the good side of the scale if you follow me. Sometimes they're going to be more fun than others. Sometimes you're going to have to put a little, little bit more uh, elbow grease into it than you really care to. But it's always going to keep going back and forth with like six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight. It's always on the positive sky, side of the scale. This is definitely worth it for you. All right, is there anything else I need to say about this? There, I know there's communication coming in, but I feel like that's like redundant for um, Gemini. The information will come towards you, and it'll come towards you quite fast. Um, I feel like if this reading is really hitting with you and making sense to you, it's kind of saying you might have already seen some things drop in front of you already, but hold on, because it's going to get a lot faster. You can handle it. You can definitely handle it. It's just kind of like be ready to go when it's time to go. Don't let something pass you up, because your opportunity is coming. The pressure is coming. You want to move forward when it's time to go. You don't want to be sitting here waiting, wondering, considering, and then the bus passes you by, and you're like, I wanted to be on that bus. Is there another one? No, not for this. You're going to have to do a different possibility. And I know Gemini is great at finding other possibilities, kind of like, well, maybe I can find another way to catch up to that bus. I feel like once the bus leaves, once it passes you by, I feel like it's just kind of like new opportunities are going to show up, new things are going to come forward to you. 
whatever this possibility was, it, it's time will have passed and something else will be in front of you. Something else will give you an opportunity. Not as good as this one, but still, it's there. I feel like they're saying, be ready for the bus, get on that bus, go forward, get your success, your success is there. You can have it, you just have to choose it, you gotta move towards it. If you let it go by, that is totally free will. That's your, that's your business. If you decide to let it go by, I'm just kidding, you really don't want to. Anything else? All right, I'm gonna shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you would like the donation information, that's below as well. Thank you for watching, and you have a good day.